It's here. Oh, my baby. It's not mine. It's my sister's. But yeah. Yo, good morning, YouTube. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. And I just want to let y'all know that. I'm grateful to be alive. But yeah. Sorry about my hair. I just woke up. My aunt called me to come pick her up. She came to Goodwill. I fucked with Goodwill. Uh, just because um, they take good care of people that are uh, financially stable. But, I mean, they give out stuff for free, I think. I don't really know how the process works, but I'm here at... I'm here, and y'all can tell as y'all see all of them and see them and goodies, you know, them and goodies for my kids. Or for, yeah, my aunt has, like, four kids, but... So I think that's why she came, but she said that it wasn't as much as it, she wanted it to be, but she likes it. She likes goodwill. So yeah. I'm grateful to be alive. But yeah. Thank you. What should this YouTube vlog be about? And it should be about, mm, what, 2017? I'm grateful to be alive. But Just yeah. Just brushing my teeth when I came. But this video, what 2017 has taught me. 2017 is, uh, you should, uh, Always focus on yourself, no matter if you're in your re no matter if you're in a relationship or not. Don't be too dependent on a person, because in the end, you get so used to being dependent, dependable. No, dependent on that person that once you're not with them, you're just like, okay, what do I do now? But you get over that. Time heals. I've I've witnessed that. That <clears throat> time heals. Forget about the past. Move forward. Strive to be better. And focus on yourself. That's the main. Like right now, I'm not in a relationship. And I don't plan on being in a relationship anytime. I'm not even talking to anybody like that. I mean, I'm talking to people, to girls. No, I'm not a horsey. Horsey. I'm not, I'm not that. I mean, I used to, I'll be honest. I used to back when I was just like 9, 17, 18, 19, you know what I'm saying? But now I'm 22. I want to have a good, stable relationship with myself before I get into any relationship with anybody else because I have to love myself as much as I want to love the person that wants to be willingly to come into my life so <clears throat> it makes sense that you have to love yourself as much as you want to love that other person because I mean it's 50 50 you can't just just be in a relationship one person is given 80 percent the other person is given 20 percent that will not work I felt that way and I didn't like the outcome of it and hey I said hey I feel like <clears throat> I feel like I'm putting my foot in but you're just putting your foot out and we have to meet each other halfway but that's one thing that 2017 has taught me the other thing is um, don't let anything stop you from what you really want to do in life I mean let's say you used to be a bad kid don't let don't let that I don't know. I'm just giving an example. Don't let that stop you from doing what you want to do in life. If you want to be a business, I'm grateful to be alive. But yeah, go out and get your business degree. And I mean, strive for better things in life. Don't do negative things, do positive things because positive always wins negative. It's very easy to be negative, but some people find it very hard to be positive. So that's why you got to try a little bit of both sometimes. Not saying that you always. I mean, you always have to be negative all the time. There's certain times and certain places that you can be negative to certain people, but you can also be positive to everyone around you because that's what I'm trying to do. Man, my hair looks good. My hair looks nice. Ooh, but it's really just flat from poo, just poofy. But <clears throat> yeah, you just have to be very positive. Don't think, uh, think positive thoughts. You know what I'm saying. Move forward. Strive to be a better person as I, as myself. Um, another thing, 20, what's 2017 has taught me is to uh, is to uh, is to uh, 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 20. 2017, I can't, I really don't want really to say. Yeah, to be grateful. Be grateful for the things that you have. Let's, like, for instance, I'm going to give y'all an example. Y'all better not hear my call. Sorry, I'm still at Goodwill. I'm waiting for my aunt. <clears throat> I mean, I have a car, right? It's paid off. Thank God. Grateful to be alive. But, yeah. 
<clears throat> but I want a new car. But I'm like, I want a new house. So I should be grateful that I have a car, right? I have a car that's paid off. I don't have to worry about making payments. And I want to go out. I want to go out and get me a new car. Why don't I just keep this car? I should just keep this car and make payments on a house that I want. That way I won't have to be struggling. Like this car runs good. I just have to check the oil, you know, check the tires, all that. Mm, not too much tedious stuff. But just keep, be grateful for what you have. Like, like I bought a new phone. It's the iPhone 8 Plus. And I bought it because my iPhone 6S was messing up. Yeah, I was grateful that I had the iPhone 6. But I also wanted to invest in myself in the memory of the iPhone 8 Plus just to keep just to keep doing my videos that way I won't always have to be deleting them and then I mean not having them <clears throat> so just be grateful for what you have I mean it's a new year coming so strive to be better and make like I did on one of my videos if you haven't watched it it's the uh, 10 10 things that I want to accomplish in 2018 <clears throat> one of them that I'm already accomplishing is, is graduating because I've uh, I'm already registered for classes Second is trying to get me a house. I already talked to my dad about him helping me look for, look for a house, not help me make payments on a house. So that's two out of ten things that I've already I'm already working on, and it's not even the end of the year. So I'm very grateful and appreciated of life. Grateful to be alive. But yeah. <clears throat>